What is up, my geeks and freaks? Big Girl Geek here with a brand new Geek Chat. You know my comic book show where I bring you the latest comic book and pop culture news that you may or may not have missed from the previous week. I ask you guys every week how you doing and let me know in the comments. Keep doing that, please. I hope you guys are happy, safe, and healthy during all of this craziness. And guys, don't forget to vote. Very, very important. I have mailed off my ballot. My husband's mailed off his ballot. So please make sure you vote in this upcoming election. It's very important. All right, let's get into this comic book news. As always, guys, I don't get all the stories, so if I miss any story that you did want to talk about, let me know in the comments and we'll chat about it as always. But there's been a lot of movie news getting pushed back. You know, Regals is closing and, and a lot of movies are getting pushed back. Starting off with the comic books at uh, WB slash DC Comics, they are pushing back the Batman, Flash, Shazam 2, and Black Adam. Um, they shuffle around dates, they're pushing movies back, pulling them from the schedule, adding them to the schedule. Wonder Woman also got um, a different date. Like, a lot, a lot is going on. Let me know what you think in the comments. Some sad news for you Glow fans out there. Netflix has canceled Glow, even though they had previously renewed it. Um, and the reason that even though they have renewed it and now they're canceling it is due to, of course, the pandemic and the coronavirus because they just don't know when everyone can get back to work safely. Um, and it's going to be costing them money, I guess, apparently. So TVLine.com reported this um, about Glow. Uh, any Glow fans out there? What do you guys think? Are you nervous about any other shows meeting the same fate? Any comic book shows over at the CW? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Okay, uh, like I said, Dune is now moving from December to October 2021. They have a chance to release date for that. I did a Dune trail reaction on the channel. You guys can check that out. I've also purchased the books. I'm getting ready to uh, read that now that some other things are winding down. But yeah, they have gone ahead and changed the date for Dune. Like I said, a lot of reshuffling at the movie theaters because even, you know, like I said, the movie theaters are closing. Regal has not is not planning to reopen anytime soon so let me know what you guys think about that news in the comments okay so i'm sure you guys have heard there were a lot of deaths in the music uh industry this past week uh one of those deaths though that i'm going to uh, touch on very briefly is i can see clearly now singer johnny nash he died at the age of 80 this past week um condolences to him and his family and, his, and um you know all of his fans are truly saddened by his passing um, there was just a lot and gosh, I, you know, I hate reporting on the passing of people. So I'm just going to keep it to this one passing. Um, we could talk about the other musicians that uh, passed away in the comments. No disrespect to them or anyone or their fans. But, you know, I'm just trying to keep it for mental health sake for everybody. You know, just one story. Um, may he rest in peace. Another movie being pushed back, you guys, to June 2022, as you can see right here from IMDb, is Jurassic World. The new Jurassic World movie is coming out and it's supposed to reunite all the original cast members from the first film. Um, but yeah, now it's being pushed back due to coronavirus. And I understand, you know, we have to open everything uh, safely for everyone. So I get it, but it's just so hard. I don't know what's going on in the movie industry or how we're going to recover from this. But if you're looking forward to that, you got to wait till June 2022. Marvel fans, I know you guys are excited because Doctor Strange will be joining Spider-Man 3. Comebook.com, breaking news when this came out um, this week. They posted this. Benedict, Benedict Cumberpatch, who we all know is Doctor Strange, is joining Spider-Man 3 movie. So what does that mean for the Doctor Strange solo movie? What, what does this mean for anything? I don't know because no one knows because of coronavirus. I don't know, but I'm just happy that he will be in the movie and on my screen. Hopefully soon, fingers crossed. New Green Lantern series is coming out, and guess who is going to be writing um, the si the ten episode series for HBO Max? Mark Guggenheim. Ugh, we all know him from the CW Arrowverse, and he was in charge of the crossovers, in charge of Arrow, and for a while, and uh, just ugh, ugh, I don't like him. <laughs> don't ask me to explain. Maybe I will in the comments. I don't know. I just, I just don't like him. It would be a long explanation, but what do you guys think about that? Also, I saw this very interesting quote from this man, Alan Moore, who says superhero movies have belighted cinema and also belighted cultural uh, culture to a degree. You can read the rest of his quote here. What do you guys think? Why is everybody coming for the comic book movie? What's up? What's up? We know other movies aren't going to be making billions of dollars, but I don't get it. Leave us alone. Let us nerd out in peace. We're just minding our business, man. We're just minding our business. What do you guys think about this man's quote? Let me know in the comments. Uh, speaking of Spider-Man 3, just a second ago, did you guys see uh, Ned, Spider-Man's best friend? Did you see his picture that he posted on Instagram? He had a weight loss, 
um, that he wants to share with us, a weight loss pulse. And I think he looks great. So congratulations to him. Go ahead and check that post out and leave him a nice little comment. <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. So Star Trek is coming back in a form of an uh, animated Nickelodeon show. And we have Kate Mulgrew coming back to reprise her role as Captain Janeway. That's exciting. I'm like a little bit of a Trekkie. I love <laughs> Star Trek. And this is just one of the stories that just made me so happy. Any Trekkies on here? Live long and prosper. What do you guys think about this news and Captain Janeway making an appearance? Let me know in the comments. This past week, we had to remember, of course, my Superman, probably your Superman, a generation Superman, anniversary of the passing of Christopher Reeve. Oh, God. That, oh, God. I still remember how I felt when I found out that Superman died. Absolutely gut wrenched. May he continue to rest in peace. Always and forever going to be my Superman. Did you guys see this news? They're saying that Soul from Disney is not going to go to theaters. It's just going to be up on Disney Plus. So that's pretty cool. Um, hopefully we <laughs> are skipping the $30, uh, $30 that, uh, to pay for it. We don't, hopefully we don't have to do that like we did for Mulan because that was crazy. Especially because they released it for people and they didn't have to pay $30. And I felt like I totally wasted my money. But yeah, Soul will be hitting your screens and your Disney Plus subscriptions soon. Speaking of Disney Plus, Obi Wan Kenobi Disney Plus series to begin filming in March. Wow, that's really soon. Like, that's coming up. <laughs> so, and all you Star Wars fans, get ready, get ready, get ready. Obi Wan Kenobi is coming to your screen, Star Wars fans. Hopefully, pretty soon. But they're going to start filming. Hope everyone can stay uh, safe while they do that. So, I'm looking forward to that. Last but not least, last story I have for you guys. Gal Gadot has been cast as Cleopatra. Not surprised about that. And Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins will be uh, helming this film. So it's going to be reuniting them uh, for a third film together. So what do you guys think about that news? Let me know in the comments. I would have preferred an Egyptian actress. <laughs> I love Gal, you know, Wonder Woman. I love her. Um, but I feel like, you know... Why not give somebody else an opportunity? Okay, guys, that's all I have for you this week. So until next episode, I am out of here. Big girl geek out. Peace. Hey, where are you going? You just watched a cool video. Subscribe.